Walmart is not the answer. You know, that's the biggest employer in America. And most people that work there don't have health insurance. They get paid slave wages. It's modern day slavery. And you can't raise a family like that. You know, and, and, and these kids, you know, I've been watching them. They've done everything we've asked them to do. They graduated at higher rates than any generation, you know, that's lived in America. And, and they try and they're, and they're doing everything that we ask them to do, but they don't see the promise in the future. And that's a dangerous, toxic stew that's just boiling right now. You know, and, and we have to make sure that everybody has a bright future because when you don't have a bright future and you don't have hope, desperation starts, yeah. you know, to take hold. And and you'll do things that you never thought you would do when you feel desperate. And people are already in that situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, and, and that's why we're saying that it's not, it's not that, this, that this is not a class issue. What we are saying is that statistically, African Americans are kept on the lower ranks and they make less than their white counterparts. Thus, we have to work harder to afford the same basic necessities that all humans need, regardless of their skin color. You know what I mean? And so, we, it's impossible to have an, an accurate discussion about class, you know what I mean, or without talking about race. It's, a, it's impossible to do that. Absolutely. And I was talking to a friend today, you know, and he was saying that, you know, it's not necessarily, it's, it's, it's also about, you know, supremacy. <laughs> you know, and it's, it's a mind state that people have. Exactly. That, yet, you know, that some people have, they just have a supremacy mind state. Yeah. And it's not going to work. It's not working. Yeah. It's not working here. It's not, it's not working in Ferguson. It's not working in Hong Kong. Right. It's not working in Los Angeles. No. It's not working in New York. It's not working it's in not Oakland. It's not working in North Carolina. No, it's not. It's not working in Atlanta. It's not working anywhere. It's not working in Florida. Right. You know, and, you know, George Zimmerman may have gotten away with murder down in Florida, but I can tell you there's an end game here. And the thing that's scary about the end game here in Ferguson is that these people don't have anything to lose. Right. People don't understand that. They have nothing to lose. <laughs> and, if, and if you think we're going to have another George Zimmerman situation in Ferguson, oh, man. I don't think anybody is taking stuff laying down over here any longer. No. It's, yeah, this, this, city, this city. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to put my gloves on at the same time. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's not going to be good if... if you know, if this thing isn't gotten right, because people are just demanding righteousness. Yeah. They're demanding that everybody do the right thing. Right. That's what they're demanding. They're not asking anymore. You know, in the 1950s and 60s, we were asking. And now, now we're demanding. telling you, yeah. we're not going to take it anymore. This is it. It's the end game. You know, that nobody's going to take it laying down. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, the sad part about it is that nobody wins like that. Yeah. You know, we've got to learn how to live with decency as human beings and treat one another with care and with respect. Yeah. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. And whoever doesn't want to live like that has got to get out of the way. Whether it be the court system, whether it be, you know, the politicians, whether it be police officers, they got to get out of the way so we can live with some decency. Yeah. They got to move. I'm sorry. They just got to go. That's it. What's your name? I'm Darnell. Hi, Darnell. <laughs> Y'all, you on Twitter? Yeah. Okay, what's your Twitter? At Funky Cow. At Funky Cow. Yeah, I'm a Funky Cow. <laughs> Uh, Bit okay. of a rebel there, but that's cool. All right. Well, you know, I got some people who are really into what you're saying. That's awesome. Um, so, you know, you might get some tweets. Hey, some people want to hold the conversation with you. Hey, thank, but thank you, you hey, so much for giving me the interview. You came all the way to L.A. to see us. Okay. I love you, girl. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's true. good to have you here. You know, you're thank just a positive you. spirit that brings a lot of good energy and a lot of, you know, a lot of focus to a, a, a needy cause. You know, this conversation's happening all over the world. Yeah. It's not just in Ferguson. Ferguson just happens to be a lightning rod. Right. You know, but it's a genesis right now, you know, and, and we want this movement to yield more than just a verdict, you know, for Mike Brown. We want Mike Brown to get some justice, but at the same time, we want life to improve economically for people who have been locked out. 
You know, we want our court systems to be fair. We want these cops to stop acting ignorant. And we want them to act like they got some sense. You know, when, when they pull our kids over, don't shoot them in the head. You know, don't beat them with sticks. Don't treat them like animals. When you pull our kids over, one car will do. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. One car is fine. Yeah, well, one is fine. Right. You know, right. Yeah, you know, but, but these are our kids. You know, they're our most precious possession. And we're going to ride for them. Right. We're not going to let anybody abuse them. Exactly. We're not going to let anybody misuse them. Right. Because we've given our lives for our families and for our kids. And we don't care who you are. You have to treat them the way that we would treat them. Exactly. And that means with respect and with care. And when you don't do that, you're going to get a Ferguson. We're not having it. You know, we, we intend for our kids to be blessed. We contend, intend for them to smile and have confidence and be bright and have a beautiful future. And we're not going to let anybody stop us. That's the bottom line. Yeah. That's it. He's got some good videos of reactions to pizza owner pulling out a gun. You did? Huh? You got some good reactions to the people talking about the pizza owner pulling out a gun? Oh, absolutely. Sure yeah. did. I got a ton of reactions from that. I mean, that was that was fantastic. Okay. Yeah. I got I got somebody talking about it in the chat yeah, room right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's what's up, you know. And and you know, we just want to get the real story out there because there are things that are happening on the ground where we are that everybody can't see, you know. And and you, if you watch the regular news, you'll get half the story. But we're down here with the real folks. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And and we're getting it for real. You know. Yeah. So, so that's a wonderful thing, and hopefully all of this will lead to, you know, justice. Yeah. You know, and, it, and it'll lead to a better America. Because that, that's what we want. This America that we're watching, these cops coming out here with these bats, you know, and intimidating these kids. That, we don't want to live in a country. Like Them kids that. with drums and music, y'all police with bats and batons and yeah. guns. Yeah, with dogs, and you know, they come out with twenty with with police dogs and with and they had AK-47s out here. And these kids had signs and and drums and. And that's all they're doing is protesting in the street. And you mean you're going to beat them? You know, and, and you're taking out guns. You got assault rifles pointing it at these kids. And that's all they're doing is protesting because of an injustice that they've seen. Because they also right. aren't stopping. That's the motive that they like. They can bring as many guns as you want. The kids ain't moving. See that no, big ass they're not going to move. They're not stopping. Yeah, they're not going to move. You see that big ass cop over there? Right there. Standing with the black on? Okay. I wish I had a better camera to zoom in on them, but I could if I wasn't using this pack, unfortunately. Yeah.